and then okay. April 26, 2016, Tuesday. These two terrapins are siblings. Now they are two years old. The bigger one weighs about uh, 112 grams three days ago, and the smaller one about 50 grams. And uh, the reason they came in because the eyes were swollen. But actually, there's a more serious problem. As you can see, the shell, the shell rot. Okay, now we weigh them. Uh, we measure them. So what we measure them is that the big, biggest sibling is about 80, 80 centimeter from this end to this end. The shell length, shell length is on, uh, is uh, 80, uh, 80 millimeter, and the the smaller sibling, 65, 65 millimeter. Okay. So we we already measured them. So the the big one has eaten more food than the smaller one. That's why it's grown so much bigger. They're living in the same tank. Now we turn it upside down. There's a more serious problem. As you can see, the bigger one three days ago was actually bleeding, bleeding from the from the shell. You can see still some some uh, rot erosion. This is a rot under the skin, under the, the shell, so there's bleeding uh, which you can see in the other video is a lot of bleeding and even today you can see some bleeding from the grey car whereas a smaller one doesn't have bleeding but there is a small, small uh, dent here which could be due to shell rot earlier on because this shell rot has happened for over a year and this shell rot causes a dent because the shell has been uh, uh, damaged so there's a dent here and uh, there's no bleeding so now we await the terrapins here come we await them today is the day three weigh one by one okay the first one what's the weight then we record the weight 107 hmm? 107 okay minus Lost five five milligram. Then uh, we put the zero again. Okay, where's the other one? The smaller sibling is forty seven grams. This will record down in our book, hot session book. So come come, come and record first. We record down forty. The big one is. So you can see that they have lost weight. They have lost weight from 112 to 107 and the other one is 50 to 47 gram. Okay, now we do the daily treatment. The daily treatment will consist of cleaning the shells with disinfectant. Then after that, uh, rinsing off the disinfectant. Then, I, then we will do the antifungal, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory cream and let it, let it uh, dry for 10 minutes under direct sunlight and uh, then we put eye drops and antibiotics basically that is the, the whole take this away first that is the whole uh, idea so I've already arranged the equipment here which is on set so that it's easier to do the process no, that one we want just put on the floor we'll do it. so now my system will, will start the process and uh, on this table, we are ready. Okay, she will demonstrate the process. Okay, starting with with uh, cleaning. Take, take the away this one first. Far, far away. Yeah. Far away. Yeah. So that the video cannot show. Uh, okay, it doesn't show in the video. Okay, so we start now with the smaller one first. Okay, smaller one. You think each one separate in its own tank. Small one. Okay, start. Just a demonstration. This equipment is the chlorhexidine antiseptic. Antiseptic. So we, we wet the uh, no put put the put put the under the swap. Put on the swap. Then she wipe, wipe the the shell 
those are the actually fungus and bacteria in in this shell rot area. Try to use a different side of the of the swab. Yeah, to drop away. This has been done already. This is the third day. Yeah, especially those white spots clear all the all the debris. Okay, then then after that rinse off with this. Yeah. Either that, uh, you can, you can uh, wait, then we do the lower half first, lower half, same thing, the, the, the bottom part, because the shell rot also is happens in the bottom area, As you can see that this part is shell rot, this is a shell rot area, you can see, this is normal shell, this is the rot, shell rot, so she cleans up your antiseptic again, antiseptic, So the same same principle will be the big one as well, and and it's the whole lot actually. Uh, the antiseptic to clean up all the fungus and debris, and see any more on the plastoon, no more. But best is a generalized cleaning with the antiseptic. Okay, then after that rinse the turtle, the the terrapin inside the water. Okay, and then brush, brush off the ah. Uh, Brush off as, as much as possible of the, of the fungus and bacteria, especially those white spot area. Okay, then the other side. The other side mainly is the back end. The the, the, the uh, just do the whole body, but mainly those affected parts, which is the lower part. Yeah, lower part. I uh, just. 90 degrees and and for and and are uh, generally around 360 degrees. Scrub the scratching, uh, scrubbing. Okay, then have a check. The front one okay. The front one okay. The front one looks okay. It's been going on for two years. Uh, one year actually. This shell rot. Then uh, the front there. There's there's a bit of shell rot here. Do you see? It, above the neck. Yeah. So this is basically the same thing as doing a dog or a cat. Yeah. Make sure that every part is is brushed and then rinse off, rinse off, yeah, rinse off and then we we'll throw away the water and then you should use the, then let it dry up, yeah, let it dry, use a tissue paper or something, take, take a tissue and dry up the, dry up the area, dry up the area and uh, after drying up, you apply the the ointment, the ointment, and then let it's more active because of the direct sunlight. Now, direct sunlight is important for synthesis of calcium and vitamin D3. Let me, let me just finish this audio first. Don't ask me to wait now. Nah. Okay, so dry off. Now, take it out and dry off. Yeah. Dry up. top and bottom, dry off. Dry off so that we can apply the cream. Because we don't want to apply the cream and then it's uh, all wet systematically 360 degrees, okay? And and use the different parts of the paper, not the same paper again. Otherwise, you'll be spreading the fungus. Divide the paper into four. Divide the paper into four. And uh, and uh, that's how you do the, the, the cleaning so that you don't just dry pet, 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 and then pet on, uh, pet. Just to dry up, yeah. 360 degrees. Okay, then go go below, upside down. 360 degrees. Do the part first, the lower part, the plus stone first. Then the, the sides, at the side. 360. Use a different type of the tissue paper uh, to dry up, yeah. Okay. Then we'll put it back into the into the tank to. To uh, do some paper there. To let it dry first before you apply the cream. Let it dry first. Okay, come. Let it dry up first before you apply the cream. Okay, so now we prepare the cream. So we prepare the cream, the antifungal, antibacterial cream, and uh, use a cotton bud to apply. Ready? No, put back right there. Bring, bring it up again. Put it on the table to do. No, don't do it on the 
on the on the tank. Yeah, bring up again. Bring up, bring up again. Then bring up again. Okay, so painting, paint again. All those white spot. A bit to clean, a bit only to paint over. Okay, put a bit first, and then you put every everywhere first. Put all one, two, three, four. Put all the white spot. A bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, and then go on and on systematically and but rap rapidly not too slow yeah just okay then the other end painting paint over paint over mm. but faster a bit not not too slow especially the edges also the whole 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 part yeah including the, the edges in the top part also no faster than that faster than just it's just a very quick process. Yeah. Make sure the edges also uh, being applied. Okay, then we do the. Okay, no, then we do the below already. So you should have more cotton buds. Yeah. They come same same thing again. Yeah. Same thing again. Dot 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 dot. Dep dep dep. Uh. Especially the the affected areas. Okay, faster than that, faster than that. Not so slow. But a bit more, of course, not too little, so... Too little, it wouldn't work, yeah. Until, until those affected areas, mainly, yeah. A bit more, yeah. Correct, correct. Okay, then start to paint. Paint the whole thing, yeah, painting. Systematically. Now this one used to have a lot of bleeding because of the shell rot, which has gone under the shell. As you can see, pink color. This two days ago was even worse. A lot of blood comes out. Yeah. Okay, get it done with. Okay, finish. Finish. You put it back in there. Yeah. Finish. You put it back in for 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 10 to 20 minutes to, to dry. Yeah. Okay, can. So this is the example how it's done.